Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to Climapod Greenhouse and Gardening. Today I want to talk about repurposing pots. It's a great idea. You can get pots from any place, garage sales. But what happens is you might take a dirty pot like this, you're going to fill it with soil, you're going to put your new plants or vegetables in it, and then all of a sudden things go bad later on. And this is why. The old plants or vegetables could have had fungus or mildew, anything like that. And what happens is it will go dormant. And even though it's an empty pot, dirty, that mildew, everything will stay dormant. So once you put the dirt back in and get it wet, all of that stuff is going to come back to life and kill your plants again. And you really need to clean your pot. So I'm going to show you exactly how I clean my pots. Simply take a garden hose and give it a rinse. You want to get as much dirt out as possible, so I'm going to use a brush and clean it up from there. Look at how beautiful this is, but I'm not done. You know, a lot of people like to use Clorox bleach mixed with water, but that can be a little toxic to the earth, especially if you do it outside like this. But what is really good is using just hydrogen peroxide. Use this on cuts, right? It cleans your wounds and all the infection out. You're gonna do the exact same thing with your pot. You're going to use the hydrogen peroxide and it will kill all that mildew and mold and anything that is left over. So what I did was I just took hydrogen peroxide, filled up a spray bottle, and I'm gonna coat the inside of this pot and just let it sit 10 minutes, 20 minutes. You don't even need to rinse it out before you do any potting. Hydrogen peroxide is non-toxic to plants. So this looks really good. This pot is ready to go. I'm gonna let it sit for 10, 20 minutes before I put dirt and my broccoli in it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. Have a wonderful day.